But within the Hanafi school, what is the position on music other than the duff drum? So, the some of the ulama they took position a lenient view on music, like Abdul Ghani al-Nabuzi, rahimahullah, the Damascene scholar mm -hmm. from 400 years ago. While other ulama they took a strict position. So uh, the likes of Imam Ibrahim al-Halabi, the author of Mustaqal al-Abhuri, wrote a book, Al-Naqsu wal waqsu al mustahil al-Raqs, mentioning the prohibition of musical instruments and raqs. Mm -hmm. To the point that even within the Shafi'i school, there, there are divergent views. So you have like Al -Ibn, uh, Al Imam Ibn Hajar al-Haytami al-Makki, he has a famous work, Kafar uh, Ru'a' on uh, prohibition of musical instruments. But then Al Imam Abu Hamid al-Ghazali rahimullah took a lenient view like Abdul Ghani al-Nabrisi rahimullah. The correct view in my point from uh, from how I, from my reading on this subject mm -hmm. would be more of a middle stance, which is that is that firstly the daf is permitted and then there are those instruments, alat, which are clearly prohibited in the Sunnah. Like? They would be like uh, string instruments, for instance. Guitars, violins. Yes, string instruments are one. Harp. These type of instruments. Okay. Now, Sayyid Alawi al-Maliki, rahimullah, in his fatawa, he states that due to saddu dhari'ah, now this word saddu dhari'ah means barring the means, it's a great source of law for the Maliki school. So for instance, Al-Imam Malik, rahimullah, he prohibited grapes, uh, people from growing grapes, because he knew the grapes were being utilized for wine. For wine. So it's sometimes this law, Sadu Zari'ah, applies to permissible things. Sayyid Alawi states, we should apply Sadu Zari'ah to many of the musical instruments because it leads to the haram type of music. What is haram bil ijma'? Uh, music which has lyrics which are uh, impermissible. Music uh, which is accompanied with alcohol. This is all impermissible by ijma'. So foul, vulgarity, sexual lewdness, uh, the promotion of fashion, all that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, and if it's associated with drinking and drugs, this type of music is totally prohibited by ijma'. What if it's associated with love? So then, then it should be a flex a thousand years ago. Poetry and singing about women and the love for women is something that uh, transcends all civilizations. Yes, so, so the, the, ulama, the ulama, they would teach books of literature, Arabic literature, where uh, love of women is mentioned, uh, works like Diwan Mutanabi, Maqamatul Hariri, all these uh, classical Arabic literature they have. Uh, but those books of poetry even contain vulgarity also. But they would teach it for a purpose, which was literature, in order to excel in language. So uh, in today's day and age, if someone uh, read a book of classical literature, which does contain vulgarity, it would not be totally prohibited, depending on the purpose of reading the book. But uh, Saddu Zariya is applied to those music, that type of music which is totally haram in the Sharia. Then within the middle we have the grey area. Now Ibn Hazm, Ibn Hazm, he took a divergent opinion. Uh, there is uh, there's another alim also, uh, a Maqtasi alim, the author of uh, uh, the book on Shurutul uh, Aimati Sita, which is a book on conditions of the six scholars of Hadith. They took a divergent opinion, but which was totally permitting all musical instruments also, to the extent that Ibn Hazm attempted to weaken a Hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. And then uh, Al Imam Ibn Salah, Rahimullah, the author of the Muqaddimah of Ibn Salah, he condemns Ibn Hazm for this. So that would be a, a Shah's opinion, an anomalous opinion. So Sadd al applies to most music. Then we have certain instruments which are not declared haram totally by the Sharia, and it's a gray area. And then we also have the issue of raqs, which is dancing. So the Sufis have Hadra, which my Mashaykh in Syria they perform, Hadra. Al Imam Jalaluddin al Suyuti gave the fatwa permissibility of Hadra. Uh, other ulama also, Abdul Hayy al-Kattani and many other ulama, they permitted the hadra, which is doing dhikrullah with dancing, with raqs. But there were other ulama who prohibited this. They said this is not permissible. So that would fall into the issues of khilaf. And when issues fall into issues of khilaf, you cannot declare the Muslims as being fasiq, as being transgressors.